my podcast, podcast brings, brings all the boys to the yard, yard and they're, they're like, it's, it's better, better than yours. yours. And I'm like, it's, it's better, better than, than yours. yours. I can teach you, but, but you I have, have to charge. charge. That was good. Episode? 13, maybe. Mm-mm. Oh, come on. It's, it's my lucky four- number. 14. 14. We missed it. We missed my favorite episode. No, actually, we might be 13. 13! Woo! Yes. This podcast episode uh, might be a little bit more of a visual episode. Yeah. You know, if you listen on audio, we'll try and describe what's happening Mm -hmm. to you. Um, And what's happening might be that we just spill these drinks and ruin all our podcast equipment, which we got a lot of open containers here. We do. And if you're driving, just um, prop it up on your dashboard and watch. Terrible. Don't say that. You want to get sued. I'm going to get sued. Don't watch things. Don't watch you're it while you're driving. Wait till you get home. Yeah. And then watch it. Put it on the big screen. Mm-hmm. Put me and Savannah on your big screen and watch us suck on these sodas. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. So today, what what's happening here today is, let me tell you where it comes from from me. Okay. All right. So... I'm sick of seeing advice mm-hmm. where people just tell you what not to do. Yeah. You know, when they're just like, don't drink soda, mm-hmm. but then they don't provide you a solution, right? And right. like, I like soda. Mm-hmm. Do you like soda? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's anti-American. And I'm an American. I've been American for two weeks. <laughs> so it's anti-American to not like soda. Um, so yeah, we're going to give you a solution to mm-hmm. the problem rather than just don't drink soda. It's bad for you. And there's been a lot of new sodas come into the market. Yeah, I feel like in the last year is the first time I saw 80% of what's sitting in front of me. Mm-hmm. And now everything is prebiotic, probiotic, this, that, that supposedly is better. Yeah, but it, it's annoying, right? When people just tell you not to do something, they don't provide yeah. a solution. And another thing I've been working on is like having rules for myself. Mm -hmm. that allow me a little more freedom so rather than i don't drink all soda Mm -hmm. i'm gonna have a rule for like this is one i do drink yeah and then i can just enjoy going somewhere and having one and what is that one where can i find it how can i make sure i've got it in the house so that i don't resort to something that i shouldn't be doing Mm -hmm. so this is the soda episode and what we're gonna do we've got cola lime and lemon Let's, let, yeah, Coke, let's yeah. call them as you know them. Coke, Sprite, root beer, orange soda. Yep. They're the four that we're testing today. Mm-hmm. We've got a few different brands. Olipop, Poppy, Zevia, and then Coca-Colas are in there too. And most of these might be owned by the Coca-Cola company by the time this comes <laughs> yeah, out. Probably. You know, they just buy them all up. All right, so Great. let's start with Cola. Yeah, let's just start. Classic. Shall we contrast it with Coke Zero first? I think I need to use that. I'm just guessing. I I think I need a palate cleanser. So let's start with the other ones first. All right, so let's start with Poppy. Poppy. So Poppy Classic Cola Mm -hmm. says it's a prebiotic. Okay. How do you feel about that? I mean, what's in it? Bunch of juices. Okay. And apple cider vinegar, obviously, because you could smell it. 32 milligrams of caffeine as well. Oh, so wow. So it's not one you can just drink all the time. You can't have one with dinner. No. I How much is anyone. a regular Coke caffeine? Oh, good call, actually. A Coke Zero does have caffeine. 57. Oh, okay. So less than a Coke Zero. A little less. Half. No, mind, a little less. All right. I'll try it. Cheers. Brandon? Aimed at women. Yeah, I don't... Kind of cute. Yeah, just like a little... The name makes sense. Poppy. First impression? It's not bad. It's really sweet. Yeah, it's like you left a Diet Coke sitting on the table for a while. It got flat. Well, it's not fair. This one, I don't think, was cold. This one was a little warm. But still, you can get all the flavors. And it's not bad. No, it's not bad. It's not super, it's not as vinegary as I thought it would be. It's a little flat, though, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Like you said, it's like you left it. Mm-hmm. And that one's not very vinegary. No. I could drink that. I wouldn't choose to. 
Yeah, I could. Yeah. Pretty good. Poppy. So pretty good. Out of ten, this is going to be the baseline for them all. Yeah. So. Out of ten, ten being, the best. I would choose to drink it. A Coke Zero. <laughs> ten being a Coke Zero. Um, I'll go six. Okay. It's not terrible. Yeah, I'm going to say four. Okay. Because you can, you can drink it. If someone gave me one, I won't be angry at them. I'd just be like, okay, thanks. Okay, we got a four and a six for Poopy. Olipop. Vintage Cola. Olipop. This one says it's a new kind of... This one says it's got prebiotics in it, too. Mm -hmm. Botanicals and plant fiber. I don't know what the heck that is. I read that, and there's something in there called a marshmallow root. I see that. I don't know what that is, but they've got a whole bundle of plant fibers. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, they've all got little asterisks on them, and it says... Underneath the asterisk, extract. Yeah. So it's just like a little drop on it. So what's the point? Do you think it's to make you go to the bathroom? To think that it's I think it's, it's so uh... you can put it on the can. Okay. That, I mean, hey. And you remember when Bang put super creatine and they didn't put any in it? <laughs> but these have actually put an extract of this in there. So, yeah, it's like all these wild things that I've never heard of. And they've all got an asterisk on them. Uh, stevia again. Uh huh. Green tea. Caffeine. How much caffeine? 50 milligrams. Oh, wow. So, again, not one that you're probably drinking at night. Yeah. That's rough. <laughs> it doesn't taste like Coke. I can taste the, the root. It does taste like cola gummies. Do you get that? I don't think I've ever had a cola gummy. Like a Harry. <clears throat> Never had one of oh, those. So, like, it's really on the sweet end. But it doesn't taste like Coke. It tastes like bread to me. Yeah, I'm not getting bread. What kind of bread do you eat? I don't know. That's a two. Two? Yeah. I think I would still drink it over the... Poppy. Over Poppy? Mm -hmm. I like the branding way better than Poppy. Yeah. I think it's cuter, but I, Is it? yeah, I'm going to say two. I kind of like gummy cola, so I think I like it better, so I'm going to give it a five. Five, okay. Yeah. So four for Poppy, and then let's go with the classic, Coke Zero. So there's nothing in it except the color of it, mm -hmm. and them two are both colored too, mm -hmm. so I don't know how they're colored. To look like Coke. No idea. But it's got to just be coloring. Mm -hmm. Right? There's no juices that turn something the color of Coke. So same. It's got colors in it. Mm -hmm. So if you want a Coke Zero. And then here we're just looking at some things that people talk about. Phenylectoneurix. Hmm. Which is phenylalanine. Okay. And the thing that a lot of people usually talk about is aspartamine, right? But that's not in this one. Is so that, that only one. in Diet Coke? Yeah, so it's the phenylalanine that people are... Mm. Other than that, this really doesn't have anything in it, right? No, it just tastes good. <laughs> so, you're probably not going to trade your Coke Zero for one of them Cokes. No. Because they don't taste even close to as good. It's a lot heavier, the Coke Zero. Yeah. A little more syrupy. It, I'm gonna keep Coke Zero out of them three. They like you haven't, you haven't bought, you haven't won me over. No, I would still do Coke Zero. Yeah. Even better, Cherry Coke Zero. Caffeine-free Coke Zero too. Is available, oh, is that a thing? Oh, nice. Yeah. But there is some artificial stuff in there, which I thought aspartamin was in. Coke, but I guess not. Coke yeah, but zero. what do we know about everything that's in that other stuff? Oh, we don't know anything about Zevia, right? Yeah. We don't, like, there's not enough studies on what Zevia leaf is, but we know it's a leaf, right? Mm -hmm. So at least it's a little more natural, maybe. Yeah. But, but you're not winning me over on the Cokes. Yeah, hard pass on those. All right, let's go to lemon and lime. This time we've got an Olipop again, mm -hmm. a Zevia this time, 
And a sprite zero. Yeah. So let's start with Zevia. We haven't done Zevia. No, we haven't done Zevia. So this Zevia. is the first Zevia we've got. Okay. So I've been drinking Zevia for a while. What mm -hmm. I like about the Zevia, excuse me, it's going to be a lot of burping in this episode, is the color. No color. So there's no artificial color. And that's in all the Zevias on the table. Yeah. All right. Zevia lemon lime twist. I don't really love that. I've been drinking Zevia for a while. So Do they all have that? The aftertaste. Which for me is like, you know the aftertaste when you put an artificial sweetener in your coffee? Like you can taste the sweetener. Yeah. That's what it tastes like to me. Yeah, it tastes like just real fake. But it's not like offensive. No. You know, it's not like super overpowering. You're like, what was that? You mm -hmm. could drink it, right? Yeah. But is it like, ah. No, I don't feel refreshed by any means, but it's fine. Yeah. No caffeine. Also not a cold one. Do you know what the great thing about it is, though? Mm. What? They've got something that says natural flavors, but it's such few ingredients. Carbonated water, citric mm -hmm. acid, natural flavors, stevia leaf extract. That's pretty good mm -hmm. to say, like, it's not offensive. It's kind of refreshing. Yeah. You just have the stevia aftertaste. All right, next one. Oh, wait, Ray. Right I'll say three. Three? That's the worst one. No, I gave uh, I gave Olipop a two. Oh, you did the Poppy Coke. Olipop Coke was a two. Damn. Zevia, I think, Savage. is a three. Okay, I think that's a six or a seven. For a me. six or seven. Yeah, because I could drink it. Yeah. I'll say six. Because that aftertaste of Azevia is still strong. Mm -hmm. What would you describe the aftertaste like after drinking artificial sweetener? Oh, it smells like... It just stays like... in your mouth. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Olipop. Okay, this one's yellow because I think there's... Again, juice in it or no? Same Olipop, tons of juices, a lot of tons juice. of extracts. Um, this has got four grams of sugar in it. Mm -hmm. Which did the Coke too? Two grams of sugar in that. Okay. Which is, four grams is quite a lot. Yeah. Compared to zero. But you've got to think when you're. Fifteen percent juice is quite high though. You yeah, but when that. you That's have the, good. the ones that are fruit flavored, I feel like they're actually putting the juice in. 15% juice is pretty good. Yeah. And I think that's the color. Right. So. That's See, delicious. I like that a lot more. It just tastes like a lemonade. That's delicious, yeah. And yeah. It's, what does that taste like? It is a lemonade. It's just a lemonade, isn't it? It's very juicy. It's very lemony. Yeah. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. It's probably too nice. But I could finish that whole can in one. Yeah. Do it. Mm -mm. Oh. Just be burping the rest of the time. <laughs> it's nice that it's not too fizzy. That's amazing. Mm hmm. That's a good one. I wonder. Eight. Yeah. Mm, they nailed that. You make a margarita with that. Oh, yeah. That'd be delicious. Absolutely. But are we just enjoying the sugar? That could be a problem, too. Oh, yeah. I think it's just the juice. It's good. But. If I'm gonna be but four grams. But it's from fruit juice. I mean Yeah. True. True. Who really cares? Four grams of sugar per can. Yeah, eight for me that one. Yeah, I agree. Close Agreed. to a nine. Olipop. Like I, I would buy that again. Yeah. Alright, All right. Sprite. Sprite. Nothing in it except that phenylalanine. Natural flavors, zero caffeine, zero sugar. Less than 2% citric acid. It's great, huh? Yeah. But I think maybe I'm just partial to juice. I still like the Olipop more. The Olipop's got more flavor to it. Yeah, because it just tastes like lemonade. 
And if it is all natural, just from juice, then it's probably not too bad, the four grams of sugar. So mm-hmm. I would probably take the Olipop <clears throat> over the Sprite. Mm-hmm. But this is 250 a can. Mm-hmm. This is usually on two for one yeah. for a dollar or something crazy, you know? Right, so why would you buy Lollipop? Hmm. Because I could just buy some lemonade. Right. It is more like a lemonade than a Sprite. Mm-hmm. But a lemonade has a lot of sugar in it. Oh, yeah. You don't find many lemonades with four grams of sugar. No. So, does Olipop take that one? If you're not worried about the price, you're not worried about the juice sugar. Are we just going based off what tastes the best? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, which one did you enjoy? Then I'm going to say Olipop. Okay. I think Olipop was better than the Sprite. Yeah. All right, that's pretty good. All right, Olipop. Root beers. You said you love a root beer, I right? do love root beer. All right, let's have a look. But. So Olipop Classic, Zevia, and then Poppy. Mm-hmm. Let's start with. Let's try the Zevia. Zevia first. Once again, clear. Which is cool. No artificial colors in it. And again, carbonate water, stevia, natural flavors, citric acid. Mm-hmm. I guess I'm burping. It's not good. No? Is that what root beer tastes like? Maybe I don't like root beer as much as I thought I did. It tastes kind of sour. I could drink that. Yeah. But again, I have been drinking Zevia for a while, so I'm kind of used to that flavor. Yeah. And I think it's pretty good. I would say the Zevias taste, for however reason, the same. They're not aggressive sodas. So, like, some of these are pretty aggressive flavors, right? Whereas the Zevia, because it's so few ingredients, Mm -hmm. I think it just, like, is what it is. And the only sweetness is coming from the Stevia leaf. Yeah. So that's the overwhelming flavor is a bit of artificial sweetness. I think so. But I would say that if you don't like one Zevia flavor, you're not going to like any of them. Probably, yeah. But if you don't like one Olipop, uh, yeah. that doesn't mean you won't like the that's other ones. That's a good ones. point. Yeah, if you don't like that Zevia aftertaste, then you're you going to get it with them all. Yeah. But with the Olipop, maybe not. Let's try the Olipop one next mm-hmm. time just to judge that off it. What are you giving that Zevia, though? I'm going to say the same as... The other Zevia seven. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna say, I'll give it a three. That's weird. Nice cam. Mm-hmm. Looks cool again. That's not. But the Zevia is more like a root beer than that. That's not like a root beer at all. Mm-mm. That doesn't taste like root beer. I don't know what that is. That's a new flavor they invented. <laughs> yeah, and called it root beer. They would taste this and that, like, what should we call it? Mm. <laughs> root beer. They put some cassava root in it, I'm guessing that's why they call it root tastes beer. kind of like that chocolate bang you had that one time. Ooh. That was awful. Horrendous. That's not root beer. Mm. I can't even describe that flavor. No, I mean, maybe. But I don't want to drink it. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's a hard pass. All right, that's going to be a one. Damn. I don't really want to drink that. What are you giving it? Yeah, one, because it's, well, I could drink it. I don't want to drink it. It doesn't make sense how the cola wasn't good, the lemon and lime was amazing, and then the root beer is not good. Well, it does, because... The lemon lime is just a fruit. It's just a lemonade. Yeah, you okay. can't squeeze a root beer. True. All right. Poppy root beer. Oh, my God. Mm-mm. <laughs> I don't understand how you don't like that because you like vinegar. That tastes like soy sauce. That's just vinegar to me. No, that's not vinegar. That tastes like... Ugh. Oh, smell it. 
Oh my god. That's like a challenge. Like someone challenged you to try and drink something. It's like when you're a kid and you go to a restaurant and you put all the sauce in oh, the, the drink was worse. and you like make your friend drink it. <laughs> you're a lunatic. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, <laughs> you probably did that last week to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I just do it at the Khalil yeah, at the dinner the table. <laughs> you just stop buying him these. Hey, I got you a root beer. And he's just like, oh, thanks. Put ice in it. Make it look all nice. Drink it. Drink it. Hey, root beer. Why'd you keep drinking it? Just because you're fascinated by it? Because that's what I did. And the second try was worse than the first. It's soy sauce. I don't know how else to describe it. So this one's um, soy sauce. And that's not what we bought. <laughs> That's <laughs> not the flavor we thought it was. Not good. Sorry, Poppy. That's. I'm if, not going to rate if it. If this I was just... a one, that's a zero. Yeah. That's a zero. That was. Do they try it before they put it on the shelf? <laughs> zero, that one. Just put a zero. <laughs> Let's pretend crazy. we never bought it because that was two fifty a can as well. Poopy. Annoyed. All right. Last one, we've got orange sodas. Also, compare them three to a... Is there a zero root beer? Probably. I've never seen it. I've always seen diet. Oh, I don't know if there's a zero. There might be a diet. But yeah, we need to actually follow up on that. What's in a zero root beer? I'm going to look at that. Mm -hmm. And then what's in like a... Is there a zero Fanta? I don't think so. Is it just a diet Fanta? So is, just a is there a Fanta diet Fanta? And a diet root beer? Oh. We'll check. Okay. Because we need to compare that. Because, like, this compared to a root beer, none of them are close. Mm-hmm. Whereas that was pretty close to a yeah. Sprite. Coke was struggling. The cola is I wish I would have got a Zevia Coke. Because the Zevia Cokes are not bad. There's a Zevia Cherry Coke as well. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. We can follow up. If you guys really enjoyed watching us drink all these weird drinks <laughs> then we'll follow up with another one um orange soda let's okay. start with poppy because i'm disappointed in all right poppy. the root beer so so far poppy's not done well mm-hmm. let's see if they can nail the orange because like you said it's juice right so yeah. sparkling water orange can sugar, orange juice it's apple cider vinegar again lemon juice stevia so Once again, juice-based I just juice-based drinks got to be good. I guess, but I st- But why is it not orange? Look at the color of that. Maybe there's just not enough. It smells good. Not that's, bad. No, that's good. Not bad. It's a little watered down, but that's good. Yeah, they've nailed that one. Mm-hmm. Especially in contrast to their others. That one is... Mm-hmm. But again, like you said, it's because it's that juice-based. Mm-hmm. I could drink that one. Poppy. But I like to say, how are they calling this a prebiotic? Probiotic. Both of them. Because of all the extracts, I guess. Well, no, this one isn't full of extracts. This one is full of concentrated juices. But there's, they just say there's vinegar in it, but there's no... Yeah, does apple cider vinegar, vinegar count as a prebiotic? So if I just put vinegar in something, I can say prebiotic. So if I, I have, if I go to Five Guys and I have a m- large french fries and then I put vinegar on them, I can just be like, well, they're prebiotic french fries, so don't worry about them. It's good for my gut. I don't know. Is it because there's yeast in apple cider vinegar? Because that's what you have to have. You have to have live cultures. It has to be something that's alive. Well, it says pop cultured. Trademark. Pop cultured. Be good, happy, be good, healthy. For so a healthy probiotics gut. Probiotics for healthy gut. Infused with apple cider again at vinegar. Immunity sidekick. But it doesn't say when it, any active cultures are in there. So I have to look that up. I don't know. It tastes fine. It tastes good. Yeah. What'd you give it? Um, it tastes seven. Same. Yeah. Last one, Polypop Orange Squeeze. I'm hopeful for this one because the lemon and lime was really good. It seems like a similar vibe, right? It's bright. You guys see that? You got to do the hand behind it. Excuse me. Sorry for all the burps. 
13% juice. I think it's good. I don't really like that. I like it. Um, it tastes like fruity pebbles. That's really good. Your second sip was good. It's getting better. It definitely doesn't taste um like real fruit juice to me. Well, Is it supposed to be a orange cream sickle? All the olipops have like a gummy, sugary taste to mm. them, like you're eating candy. Yeah. Which is not bad. It's just different. Mm -hmm. Compared to a Fanta diet, mm -hmm. it's tough to trade one of them in. I would probably say the poppy's a bit yeah. better, though. I would agree. But if there was a two-pack or something of, like, I could get a case of... Olipop lemon and lime and Olipop orange, I would do that. That's fair. Over just the orange poppy. So mm -hmm. I would probably go for the Olipops over the poppies. Yeah, I agree. Poppy just didn't hold up. No. And then for me it goes Olipop, Zevia, Poppy. Because mm. the Zevias are not offensive. I could just drink them yeah. anytime. But I think the question we haven't really answered that we need to think about is, is it worth trading in a zero Sprite and Coke, a diet root beer, and a diet Fanta, Fanta for these mm -hmm. sodas? I mean... I think it comes down to, I mean, the, the zero sodas are everything zero on the label. So if you are fine drinking the unknown <clears throat> aspartame or whatever is in it, then I think that's the better choice because, like you said, we still don't really know anything about stevia. Mm. So if it makes you feel better to drink something that has apple cider vinegar and zevia and fruit juice then i guess go for it but i think i would choose the zero sprite zero coke damn and it feels wrong it does like it feels like the other ones should be replacing the sprite and the coke zeros right mm-hmm yeah i mean i think Potentially in a few years, stevia is just going to be the same thing that. Yeah, does stevia does stevia react in your body the same as sugar? Does it like? Mm -hmm. Well, there's no sugar in the others, is there? Mm -mm. The zeros have no sugar, so. Yeah. It's a tough question. Mhm. Mm because I'd like to have like a hard rule of like I only drink zevia sodas because they taste fine and I know that they don't have all these chemicals in, but. How much do we know about artificial sweeteners? Mm -hmm. Artificial sweeteners and gut health because there's some evidence to say that it could actually be harmful to gut health because the good bacteria in your gut feed on sugars. So if you're feeding it stevia, it's not breaking down the natural carbohydrates you're eating. Mm. So that could also be like a competing factor in your gut. So we're saying it's gut healthy because there's apple cider vinegar in it, but then you're putting stevia in it, which in my opinion just kind of X's it out. <laughs> so what would you choose? I mean, the best choice is going to be avoiding... Soda completely. Soda completely. <laughs> no, that's what we started. <laughs> I mean, but if you wanted a soda, which I do this, I'll just grab a, a Coke Zero at the grocery store, mm -hmm. do that maybe once a month, and I'm good to go. But I'm not the type of person that needs one, like, every night. Mm. So if so you're... So you're the kind of person that drinks soda regular. Yeah. What is... Would you recommend changing out your soda for some of these, mm -hmm. potentially Olipop, was the one that we kind of rated the most. I would recommend changing out, based on ingredients, whichever one 
doesn't have the artificial sweeteners. Because if you're looking at just... They all have stevia. They all have the stevia. Yeah. But they don't have that. But it's interesting because they also water. have organic cane sugar. So if you had one that was just sparkling water, organic cane sugar, fruit juice, and vinegar, that would be like the golden ticket, I think. But that doesn't exist. Mm. I think I'm taking my chances that Zevia and Stevia yeah. is healthier mm -hmm. than the fake. The phenylalanine, yeah, whatever it is. Probably. I mean, who um, knows? Nobody knows. Right. And that's what's hard. So you just got to gamble. <laughs> well. All right. So you, every night, you drink I enjoy a Zevia, soda. and I'll drink a Coke Zero, and we'll see who dies first. That's a long term study. Mm hmm. You're going to drink a Coke Zero every night? <laughs> yeah. It's got caffeine in it. Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to die first. I'm 12 years older. You don't know that. I've lived a That's long a life point. in my short years. That's a good point. All right. So I don't want to drink Zevio anymore, though. That's why I did this. Because I was hoping some of these newer sodas would be better. Would be better. I think the thing that we need to follow up on mm -hmm. from this podcast is looking into Zevia a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Looking into Stevia a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Looking into apple cider vinegar a little bit more. And looking into the artificial sweeteners that are in the Coca-Cola stuff. Mm -hmm. And then come back with a conclusion. Yeah. Follow up. Yeah. But I don't think there's anything to say, just replace these sodas with these other drinks and you'll be fine. Yeah, I think it's going to mess you up in a different way. <laughs> I do, I really do think that these prebiotic, probiotic things will mess with your gut health. I don't know. Yeah, if, you, if you're drinking like two or three, what's that going to do for yeah. you? You know what I mean? Like, right. If you drink two or three Coke Zeros, it's probably not good for you too. But yeah, which one's worse? We're not sure. Mm -hmm. So we just got you to the end of a podcast that's completely inconclusive. That was a good experiment, we tried. though. We tried. We'll come back. Mm -hmm. we'll give you some more info next time. I enjoyed it. I had a good time. I, I think I might finish this Olipop lemon lime. So that is the best one. Yeah. Flavor best wise. tasting one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's a conclusion. Mm hmm. Two, $2.50 a can, though. Shit. It tastes a little spicy. Yeah, that's delicious, but I'm not buying it for two fifty for a small can like that. That's good, though. All right. All right. There you go. That was our review. Do what you will with that information. But we're going to keep trying. We're going to keep trying to give you a solution to the problem. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we did this time, but we got closer to finding one, and we found what we've got to look into next. So, yeah. Oxford Podcast, episode 13. Cheers. We're out. <laughs>